Hello, my name is Franck Renoir. I'm working in Paris. I perform oral surgery and implant surgery for now 30 years. And I would like to talk with you about checklist. Why checklist? You must know or you must accept that it's, it is impossible to perform any human activities without making errors. And errors is when you want to do something and unfortunately the result is not what you expected. You don't want to do something wrong, but finally the result is not as good as you expected. So why we do errors? We do errors because we can be under stress, we can uh, be fatigued, tired, we can have a personal problem, or the patient is aggressive, the patient is late, or your staff also can make errors. Your nurse, secretary, or the patient can make errors. Fortunately, 90% of our errors are absorbed by the system. That means that for 90% of our errors, we have no consequence. We have consciously or unconsciously developed some barrier, some protections to uh, stop the errors. And, but in another end, that means that 10% of our errors can lead to complications, to problem, problems. And uh, uh, for example, uh, I do remember a patient of mine, uh, he has sent a consent form in which he said that he was not allergic to penicillin, but he had just forgotten that he was allergic to penicillin. And at that time, my system was not strong enough, and we have not had a double check. I have just trust this signature. And finally, the patient was allergic. I have given penicillin. The patient stays three days in uh, an emergency department. He was very close to die. So you can see a very stupid, simple errors can lead sometimes, rarely, fortunately, but sometimes to very uh, difficult complications. And uh, the best barrier to avoid those uh, complications are to use a checklist. And all these checklists were, are done to help you to make your practice safer that will decrease the stress in your, in your team and that will improve the quality of your treatment. I really, really encourage you to use yourself but also to try to convince your staff to use systematically those checklists. Thank you very much.